Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello friends. In the sequence of name reaction of organic chemistry, today I am going to discuss Finkelstein reaction. Finkelstein reaction is very much similar to the Schwarz reaction which I have already discussed. You can see my previous video. Here is the main difference in the Finkelstein. We don't use, since it's F, we don't use F that is fluorine. What we use? Iodine. In the Schwarz reaction, what we use? Fluorine. So that is the main difference. Put F in one position. Suppose Finkelstein, then no fluorine, that will be iodine and Schwarz there is no F, so fluorine will be used. So it is a trick, remember it. Finkelstein reaction means when alkyl halide react with react with sodium iodide 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 in the presence of acetone or methanol it form alkyl iodide okay so what happened <clears throat> in take any alkyl hello suppose this is r ch2 r ch2 x and this compound react with what sodium iodide and this reaction occurs in the presence of in the presence of acetone or methanol then what will form r ch2 iodide means alkyl iodide and simultaneously what will form sodium halide sodium halide so this is the Finkelstein reaction here why this is what is the role of this acetone and since iodine is lowest electronegative halide compound right so this iodine cannot replace any halide compound so how this reaction can be done here acetone helps in the cooling of breaking of this halide alkyl halide bond as well as this acetone or methanol helps in the formation of this sodium halide precipitate so when this precipitate form then removal of this precipitate can be easy so that's why this reaction can take place so this is the main Finkelstein reaction now what is the mechanism behind it so what happened firstly this sodium iodide will get break down and form sodium with the positive charge and iodine with electronegative charge. Now this iodine will attack on our alkyl halide compound R CH2X and here our so iodine iodine will attack on this carbon. Now what happened? This 
on will get shifted towards this halide and this bond will get break down and new bond with this iodine form this carbon. So by this resultant what happened? R CS2 it form bond with iodine means alkyl iodide. Now this halide will form bond with this sodium and what will form? Sodium halide and that will be removed out in the form of precipitate. So this is the Finkel steam reaction. Here also like in the Swartz reaction alkyl halide exchange occurs as well as this reaction changes the isomerism of the initial compound. Suppose we take any example. So simply you told me what happened. Suppose I am taking CS3, CS2, CS3, CS2, CS2, see. What is this? N butyl, N butyl chloride. This N butyl chloride when react with sodium iodide, then what will form? N butyl iodide. Resultant product will be CS3, CS2, CS2 iodine. As well as what will get removed out? Plus sodium chloride. Here we either take chloride or bromide, it can be, but reaction always take place with the iodine, sodium iodide. So this is the finger skin reaction. Thank you.